really passionate about driving what's called what I call the digital shift. So I focus on traditional industries that are changing through either digital or mobile, social and so forth. The so mobile ready was written because I was seeing an emerging sort of capability issue in, in the marketplace. And that all my clients that I was working with, they were always focused on technology and what apps should we build and should NFC do this, will Bluetooth do that, will the iPhone 6 be my magic bullet? And, I was, and I'm really encouraging them to take a step back and saying, have you spent the time doing the mental preparation around capability particularly to know that you are making the right calls before you even commit to a certain direction? So what I built, developed was a 12-step framework for business leaders to, to, to retrain their own mind so that they can observe, uh, you know, take in information, see things firsthand, and make more informed decisions around the direction of mobile in their company. The, the two key things one is capability and context. So capability is, aside from technology, do you have the internal capability, and I mean working with your learning and development people, your innovation people, to actually have the right people to have the right insights to make the right decisions for success in mobile. And then the second part of that is, once you have the capability, is context. Do you understand the context of where your brand is in society? where people interact with it, why they interact with it, what are they trying to achieve, what are the difficulties they're trying, that they're actually incurring as well. So they're the two things of spend a lot of time building capability and context. One of the key things I see is this whole technology-led or broadcast-led approach to mobile it is a few leaders understand that mobile is about a dialogue. So it doesn't matter if you're doing something in the advertising space or the app space or you know, the mobile commerce space is actually working with your customer base, particularly the mobile-centric customer base, to build the right experiences. And it's really about taking yourself down the right journey and the right you know, sort of insights kind of roadmap to understand are you building the right things. The banking industry has a huge amount to learn in this space. They're an industry that survives through incumbent domination, basically. You know, regulation is in their favor, everybody has money, Nobody wants to risk their money, so there's a lot of things that keep banks in play. But there's a lot of innovation now that's really lifting the bar on where banking could go. And, and one of the things I, I really focus on is the idea that banking now is more than just a product or a transaction. It's about what is, what is the overall experience. So the, the example I give is nobody buys a mortgage, you're buying a home. And that is a longer journey. And it's saying, okay, if you're going to provide a mortgage, you have to realize that the value that you, can, that you have to create or the space that you're going to have to compete in now is a longer customer journey from the search right through to the post-mortgage. The, the post -mortgage. And that, that, that applies to even the smallest of transactions. So how much is my dollar worth? And that's something that the banks are going to have to compete on very soon. This is what the loyalty stuff and CRM has been trying to do for a long, long time. Is all that's going to come real time, particularly driven through mobile. The Middle East has a unique challenge in that they have the highest, you know, penetration of smartphones in the world, as we just saw in, in the room of probably two, three hundred people, there was a number of people with three or four mobile smartphones. Um, so penetration is quite high, but their adoption of, of digital for commerce is very low. So even though there is e-commerce sites here, I think someone was saying that over 90% of e-commerce in this region is still cash on delivery, which is a huge setback for the region because there is a, a level of sensitivity and apprehension around using digital means for paying for goods. So I think there is a huge, there is a local challenge here around how do they overcome everybody's fear and uncertainty around using digital for a means of payments and commerce. Traditional companies, you know, they're doing okay, but the ones that are really thriving are the ones that are saying, okay, we're gonna spend a lot of time understanding the consumer experience of an industry. So I look to the worlds of like the Airbnbs, the, the, the Ubers, uh, the squares of the world that are actually said, okay, look, we understand that the objective here is to find a place to stay, is to get somewhere, is to conveniently make a payment at a point of sale. And it actually puts, the, puts the, the, the people in those businesses in an entirely different mental space to think about what to build, why to build it, how to price it, how to engage the consumer. So I actually would you know, point at businesses like those that are very much more stronger in mobile than their competitive industries of travel, transportation, and payments. I really enjoy coming to conferences like this. Uh, Terrapin puts on a fantastic event, uh, mainly because one of the things I'm a big believer on is convergence and collaboration. So, you know, I go to a lot of conferences every year. I, you know, I couldn't even count how many. But the reality is, is very few 
across industries get a chance to collaborate like this. So you have payments speaking with mobile, speaking with retail and so forth. And those actually foster some amazing conversations. And that's what I'm seeing here today is some people that would not normally come together, having some really amazing conversations about potential collaboration, potential cooperation. And this is where the industries are going. And if you have, if you have a look at the Airbnbs, the Squares, and the Ubers of the world, they're about convergence and collaboration. And so this is a key enabler of discussions like that.